right, we're checking out the only game where you get to experience the most cursed parental training in the history of the universe. It's Mother Simulator 3D. You wake up, get out of bed as a brand new mother. Go to the washroom and wash your face. And you get told by Google Translate to go to the washroom and wash your face. And also, I gotta mention something. It is fantastic that motherhood teaches us to get up at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Am I being timed on how quickly I can mother? I think I am. You can see my lovely dog over here looking at me longingly because it wants something to eat. Where am I pulling this food out of? Oh, it just teleports on the ground. There's nothing in that bowl. At all. This dog has such low expectations, he is eating air. Now, like most human beings, I like to keep my house at a nice temperate one degree Celsius. In order to be a mother, we must step out into our living room and what, who is, is that, who is this? Is this like my husband or is this someone from the penitentiary? Some dude that broke out of prison is just chilling out in my, was this Santa's back? All <laughs> Hanja. International surfing. What are you doing? Oh my god. At first I thought he was playing the air guitar. I think he's trying to use the laptop. Bro, the laptop's like six feet away, man. Oh, this game is absolutely hideous. It has such things on the walls as this AI art hobbit hole and an island from was that stranded deep? Also, can anyone tell me real quick? This game is amazing. What is this? What is this? Is this my air conditioning unit? How come my air conditioning unit is six feet across? It's not meant to condition the air, it's meant to murder you. As I come over here to the dining room, how many kids do I have? Uh, because this dining room is set up for nine people? Can I leave? Can I jump out the window or anything? What's outside the window? Is it nothing? Is it just purgatory? I like how I've just decided to put random rugs everywhere. It's probably to cover up all the stains that my children caused. My house is enormous. Now I can use my uh, my mom radar to go and wash my face, but honestly, I'd rather take a look at the... What? What happened to the door? The door kind of opens and then closes on you randomly. My house is possessed. Oh, hi, random lion and tiger. Why is there a... Uh a random sink just chilling out in kind of like the open living space over here. How far am I allowed to go inside of this house? I mean, it's my house, but usually these games stop you from wandering around too much. Not so much in this game. Just do whatever you want. Okay. What's with the animals all over the walls? Whoever did the interior decorating for this house needs to be shot. A random judgmental cat looking at me. I do appreciate that everyone gets a computer. There's like a computer in every single room. It's a giant bed. How old are my kids? It's like a mom simulator, but I'm a mom for 28 year olds. I want to let you know, I'm still climbing the stairs to this house. There is no end to this house. 100% I'm stuck in Valhalla. There is no way that this is a real place. I haven't even done anything per Oh my God. Oh no. How, why am I only three feet tall? Is the house really big or am I really short? Are these what my kids look like? How come my kids just changed? I was on the splash screen. My children completely metamorphed into totally different children. Go and pick up a dirty pot to wash. Like anyone or do I have to feed this dog again? This dog, well, I can't really say it eats a lot because what? there's never anything oh, in no. its bowl. It's just been fooled its whole life thinking that it's getting real food, but truly we've just been starving it for the last like 10 years. Can I drown myself inside of this bathtub? Can I get myself stuck behind the washing machine? Everything in this game is like six times larger than it needs to be. You could fit 10 bodies inside of this washing machine. Don't ask me how I know. Also, using the toilet over here, very lonely. Okay, you're using the toilet. You have like 30 extra feet of space where nothing happens. Is there a shower over here? There is. My convict husband is still typing on his non-existent laptop. All right, so do I have to have to grab any pot or? That's not a pot, that is a whole, that's a whole plate of stuff. Okay, real quick, I gotta ask him. How come all of the appliances are massive and the loaf of bread is the size of a hot pocket? Out of the way, dog. I'm just gonna, what the? Oh, so 
I guess this is why we don't need to worry about feeding the dog. The dog is an apparition. The dog is, it's a ghost dog. Dog probably died like 60 years ago. Just been chilling out in the house. He doesn't want to leave. Click here. I will. Here we go. Turn on the, that water is horrifying. Ah, I get to clean all of the different objects with the power of my mind. There's the sad loaf of bread. That's, you know, the size of one single pop tart. That's delicious. I didn't really clean anything. I just kind of ran it under the water. My family's gonna die of hepatitis. Okay, look look at these children. Look at them. Totally different children. Mom is the same person. Children changed. Go to the kids' room and bring them to the dinner table. Okay. Are we... Why does it always start with me having to feed this dog? I can't go 10 feet without having to feed this dog. It's daily nothing. The dog lives on regret. It's like a run button in this game. <laughs> Why do the kids have to live on the 30th floor? All right, now I get, I, now I finally get to see what the children look like. What are you two doing? What is this? You're, those are not the same children as the ones that I was told I would be looking after on the splash screen. Whose children are you? Nope. You're not mine. Both of you have larger heads than I do, okay? It's not supposed to be possible. Are you real? You are. I can run into the children and they have, you know, sort of physics. All right, so I guess you just Pied Piper the children. And Zig, let's go for this breakfast. kid's name is Zig? Okay, mom. I'm not gonna lie, you have probably the awesomest name of any child I've ever heard of. Although your dead fish eyes are very concerning to me. Come on, Zig, let's do this. Now, will you guys follow me wherever I go? Doesn't matter. Like, whatever I do, you'll you do the same thing? They're like, Mom. Aren't we supposed to go to, to get dinner? No. Okay, we're burning calories first. I'm trying to make you hungry. Oh. My children don't understand how to get up a flight of stairs. My children are leaving. My children just disappeared. Well, that's great. I was wondering what was up here. It was just a stool and one single table where you could go and feel depressed. I think the best part about parenthood that I've learned so far is that you really don't have to do anything. Like, the kids will basically do it themselves. If they find out that you're a failure of a human being, they know how to feed themselves. They know what to do. This game concerns me so much. I, I Part of me wants to know what other things if this is going to try and teach me are, norm, are, are part of a normal parent's day. Has my, has my husband done anything yet? He hasn't. He hasn't even gotten up. It's dinner time. Turn off that computer. He's like, I'm not on the computer. I'm like six feet away from the computer. Touche. You're right. Emmy and Zig, sit down here. Yes, Zig. I'm going to take your breakfast from the kitchen. I'm going to Good take job. breakfast from Good kitchen. Job. All right, that's right, everyone. It's dinner or breakfast time, I guess. Oh, you decide to show up, honey. Oh my God, I have two husbands now. No joke, he flat out duplicated himself. What is happening in this game? Why is my husband smaller than my children? Maybe he's just another child. I don't know. All right, what's what's for breakfast? I'm kind of concerned. It's like lighter oh, fluid God. or something, isn't it? Oh, it's a loaf of bread. This is this is breakfast. <laughs> it's just bread. <laughs> Listen, kids, times are tough. The economy's bad. All right, you get bread and water. Congratulations. This is like uh, it's like the Civil War rations over here. What, do you want me to serve it to you, too? These kids are like, Mom, this is like a urine sample-sized loaf of bread. Listen, you don't like it. I'm gonna give it to the dog then. All right? Eat your bread loaf. Let's see what else we got over here. Maybe there's more breakfast to be had. There's something sitting over here on the table. What is this, like watermelon slices or something? What is that? What are those? Those apples? I can't. It's so hard to, to like, tilt the camera. Just like a sliced tomato. <laughs> Maybe it's grapefruit. I honestly don't know. Here, it's mystery fruit day, kids. Here we go. Zig and Emmy, complete your breakfast. Complete your breakfast. Ready for school. <laughs> They're like, breakfast completed, mom. <laughs> Why do you get three stars? How would you only get one star? Go to the children's room and wake them up. Is this the same day? I don't even know. What am I doing inside the bathroom? Was I trying to drown myself and it didn't work? Why? You know what? No. I'm not feeding you anymore. You're just gonna follow me everywhere, aren't you? 
You're gonna follow me everywhere until I feed you. Come here. Come here. Jump on top of my husband. No. Kill the husband. Get on top of him. Don't follow me. Eat the husband. All right? That's your dinner for today. Eat him. Yeah, chew on his foot. There you go. Yeah, it's high in fiber. All right. Now. All right, kids. What in... What is... Are my children sleeping or are they dead? This is the same room I picked you guys up the first time? Isn't this a different room? Whatever. Good morning, children. I love how I have to... I have to call them by their first name. Also, why am I... Why are they wearing like a bath towel as their blanket? Go and pack your child's school bag. Uh... Well, what do you know? It's the dog that's never satiated. What kind of books are my children reading? What is this? Oh, it's English! You know who hasn't studied English? The people who made the game! Alright, so we gotta grab the book. Here we go. I love that I'm carrying this book like it's some sort of Indiana Jones relic or something. I'm not gonna lie, book the children books are heavy these days. I'm pretty sure they broke my pointer fingers on both my hands. Go away, dog. I usually love dogs. This dog is driving me crazy. All right, so we'll throw this book into one of their bags. Only one of the children gets to learn. There, I only have one book. Oh, hold on, I found another book. There we go. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is, you know, something that you need for school or not. Good job. Who was? What was that? Was that? Was that good job different than all the other good jobs? Some voice actor was like, good job. Like they were, they were paid to be insane. Uh, I think I'm cooking. I think. I don't, I don't know. The game, I guess I can feed the dog from the screen. The game didn't really give me any kind of context about what I'm doing. This oil? All right, yeah, pour, oh, just throw the whole oil. Yeah, just all of it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it rolling. More oil. I'm filling it all the way up. No idea what this is. No clue. Throw some human meat in there. That looks hot. Yes, look at it grow before your eyes. That straight up looks like brains. Here's some corn. Is this... What in God's name are we making? And why is it all in oil? I love that... that like, they just, just, they just do whatever they want in this game. Like, yeah, throw some... Uh, throw some rat poison in there. So a couple tomato slices. Gonna put some borax in there. Why not? You kids like graphite? Oh my god! Uh-huh. Yep, some of this. Please tell me I get to use all of the ketchup. Just like six pounds of ketchup. Oh yeah. Six pounds of ketchup. Throw it all in there. This looks delicious. My kids are gonna get diabetes. Alright, now we're going to throw in a pinch of cayenne pepper. And by a pinch, I mean 35 tablespoons. Here's some brown sugar. And here's some Clorox. Fantastic. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and mix that all up like this. There we go. Just have a seizure. Oh, my God. It disappeared. Uh, it just evaporated. Never mind. It turned into a stew. This is something straight out of Skyrim. Don't mind me. Just got to feed the dog every 10 seconds. Uh, hi. I, oh my God, I just realized what's going on in this game. The whole reason that we have a high powered, like 20 billion cubic feet for, per minute air conditioner is it blows so hard that it keeps the baby rocking. <laughs> this is genius. This is the smartest thing I have ever seen a video game character do in my entire life. This is, this is, I mean, seriously, save your back and your arm. Why rock the child when my industrial sized air conditioning unit can do it for me? What, what happened there? What am I doing? Am I ninjaing the child? What's ah? Right there. Did you see it? What ah? I think I'm getting ready to, to, to karate chop the child. Also, is it just me or is that baby almost as tall as I am? Like no joke. That child's about four foot tall. All right, I guess. Am I putting this child to sleep or am I waking him up? Oh, that is hideous. Oh, I think I was just checking. I think the child's still alive. I really don't know. Oh, there's something on TV. I didn't realize the TV started working. Hold on. Let's see what we got over here. OK. 
Okay. Be what does that? What does that just say? Be a be someone else's rainbow? What is this? What are we watching? Why are we watching someone else's scrapbook of pictures? The people who made this game are completely insane. Do I still have my other children? I don't know. Did I did I trade them in? What am I doing? Well, this is my breakfast. I finally get to eat. It's been like three days later. All right, I guess I'll go sit next to my husband. I don't know why I would. I, he hasn't really done anything to help me at all. I love that I'm going to sit nowhere near where the plate is. I, why, why is, are we both using the laptop now? With telepathy? Stop saying good job, please. Come with me and choose your clothes. With who? Oh, I've got I've got my other children back. What happened to the baby? What is going on in this game? All right, kids, let's uh, let's just pretend that we never had a, a small child inside the house. Maybe we were babysitting. Maybe it was someone else's child. It was like a temporary child. You know how you get like a temp agency? The child was just ours for like 35 minutes and that was it. I still don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Come with me. I guess change for school? I don't know. There. Okay. Wow, you have three sets of clothing. Why are all your clothes like camouflage? All right, what is the most, well, this is just what he's wearing now. <laughs> yeah, actually just change it to exactly what you're wearing. Perfect. What's your name, Emily? I only remember Zag because his name is awesome. All right, what do you have? Oh my God. I, this, this is giving my eyes cancer, whatever this is. You know what, wear the eye cancer, perfect. Poor Zag, he has to wear the same clothes every day. Pick up the baby and take them to the bathroom to give them a shower? I'm showering the infant? Aren't you supposed to, this supposed to be like a bath? Whatever. That is a different baby. Oh, no. That is not, okay, hold on. Everything stop. What happened to my air conditioning unit? Is my husband's still here? My husband's gone too. Ah. Nothing in my life stays the same except for this dog. All right, guess I'll pick up this child. I'm not really carrying the child. The child is just somehow floating of his own accord, like David Blaine. Come with me, child. The child's like, Mom, what are you doing? We're going over to the microwave. Okay, you don't seem to understand. Get inside the microwave. Don't you worry, everyone. I'm not going to put the child inside the microwave. The game wouldn't let me. <laughs> this cat's like, great, you're sick. Yeah, I'm not the one who made this game. That's really deep water. Uh, what is this? What is this? Is that a sink? Why is it, why is it hovering? I have a hover sink. It's kind of awesome. All right, here we go. Wow, you are, you're loving this, aren't you? Diaper and all. Good job. I feel like this game is not preparing me to be a parent. Level failed! Good job you lied to me! The baby is hungry. Oh, I love that I, I failed the level and the game is like, you know what, being a failure is part of parenthood. Go to the kitchen, find some milk and give it to the baby. This is where the baby sleeps, huh? Just in a whole bed, all to themselves. There, you know what, hold on. Now you want something to eat? Eat the dog food. Is my husband at least back? No. I'm pretty sure my husband died. I think my other two children died too. I haven't seen them since this baby showed up. I have to warm it up. What are we doing with this? Am I gonna put it in? Am I gonna put it in a coffee mug? <laughs> That'd be amazing. If she just gives the kid a go, whoa! <laughs> oh my God. The milk cart just vomits the milk out. What is this game? <laughs> oh no. Okay, here we go. Is, it, is the bottle gonna vomit the milk out into the child? Not helping the child at all. Just throw the bottle inside of his entire gullet. Give the baby to your husband and clean the baby's room. Oh, my husband finally decided to do something. He's been eating that bottle for the last two days. No joke. This child changed himself too. I'm pretty sure I didn't dress this kid. He just dressed himself. All right, grab the baby off of the bed. It's not like we, oh, oh, how did, where? Click here. I I am. I'm I'm clicking here. Pick up the child. <laughs> Look at the hint. I clicked on the hint. New text. <laughs> There's no hint at all. Hey husband. 
Would you like to take care of the child? He's like, no. You know what this game has taught me? Me neither. This was legitimately the worst experience I've ever had in motherhood simulation. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Mother Simulator 3D. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>